Okay, well, you know, uh, I hold my hands up. I was irresponsible. I was young at the time, last diagnosed, and I didn't follow the rules. And if you don't follow the rules, the consequences are you will get complications. And so I've got kidney failure, uh, which means I have no kidney function whatsoever. I have to dialyze daily. Explain what the impact of that is on your life, then, Lisa. How does that work oh, out? It's absolutely, it takes your life over. Uh, well, it did. It took mine over. I had to see psychologists to get around the fact that this was happening to me, and it was just, no, it wasn't pleasant. I think we're looking at this is you last night, isn't it? This is what you have to go through. Talk us through your routine. Absolutely. So every night I have to string the machine up, um, and I have to attach it to a tube that comes out my stomach. It does the job of the kidneys. It um, clears the toxins from my blood and does what, you know, the kidney function should do. It's just that I have to do it artificially. And Alexandra, it was a few years ago that you spotted that something had gone particularly wrong with your mum. Yeah, you? that's correct. It was about nearly six years ago now, I think. Exactly. Yeah, exactly six years, six years ago, um, 2008. And that's when I realised something was wrong with my mum. Rushed her to hospital and that's when we found out that she had kidney failure. Um, and it's uh, it has affected our lives. And when I say our, I mean the kids, all of the kids. But um, my mum is such a strong woman and I'm so proud of her mm -hmm. because she has dealt with this in such a way that's inspiring to others and to myself. And we know it runs in our family to have diabetes, um, but there's so many ways that you can prevent it from happening if you do the checkups and, and go go about it the right way early. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, Hilary, is, is Melissa saying that she was, she was young and she didn't take care of herself and she knew she had diabetes? So a few things can make a big difference, can't they? Well, we know that if you regularly check your blood glucose uh, and you monitor it, adjust your uh, treatment accordingly, you can minimise the damage to the kidneys. You can't prevent it altogether. It is one of the known complications of diabetes of either type. Um, the commonest cause of end-stage renal failure um, of all uh, you know, diabetes. So it, it's important to regulate blood sugar. I mean, my oldest son is diabetic and he, uh, he of course, um, like all people who are first diagnosed, rebel against it a little bit. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do the, 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 the blood testing. But it's an important routine to get into your life because Absolutely. you can minimise the damage to your kidneys long term. Yeah. And, and I know, Melissa, you want to sort of highlight, don't you, the importance of having these checks because there are simple tests as well that you can do at the doctor just to check that everything's okay, to check, you know, whether there are any problems with the kidneys. Absolutely. There's 15 key checks that all diabetics should make sure that they have done just to make sure that you know they can avoid what I've got, um, avoid amputations, avoid blindness, all the attendant. Um, offshoots that you can get with this disease and I urge them to make sure they go to their GP, check on the Diabetes UK website and make sure that they keep abreast of all what's happening because it's so important. One of the key first signs is microscopic traces of protein in the urine um, and uh, that check isn't being done in a quarter of cases so healthcare professionals need to wake up to that as well. Check the urine, a uh, little dipstick test uh, detects microalbuminuria take that you say right let's look at that more closely do the checks uh, and if necessary intervene because by controlling blood sugar and blood, blood pressure you can do a lot to prevent uh, chronic kidney disease. Yeah. Alexandra it sounds like you got in there just in the nick of time and yeah. that something was wrong. Yeah um, it was a difficult time for, for the family and um, I just I just thank God that my mum's still here she's had a tough ride the past six years and um, she's doing really really well. She's she very inspired. I wasn't assured that I would be that would you know, be here. Yeah. In fact, I actually did die and they brought me back to life. So I thank the Royal Free yeah. Hospital in Hampstead for bringing me back, really. Mm. Well, it's lovely to see you all. Great hospital. You're so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hillary might have done Australia now, I see. Alexander, just quickly, X Factor, who's going to win? Oh, I don't know. Come on. It's so early to decide. I don't know. Oh. I've got my favourite, but I don't want to say it. Who's your favourite? I can't say yet. Give, give us a few favourites then. It, it's a guy. It's a guy. Oh. Okay. Oh. Jake. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.